Leprosy has been discovered in wild chimpanzees for the first time as apes are seen with lumps on their faces. Shocking images of apes with the contagious lumps on their faces have been shared by researchers who made the puzzling discovery. Cases were confirmed among two unconnected West African chimpanzee populations in Guinea-Bissau and the Ivory Coast. Scientists from the Center of Ecology and Conservation at the University of Exeter said the leprosy strains are different and uncommon in humans. The apes are believed to have caught leprosy from contact with humans, thought it's not clear whether it can spread to people. Lead author Dr. Kimberly Hawking said, in Guinea-Bissau it is possible the chimpanzee somehow acquired leprosy from humans in this shared landscape, although people do not kill or eat chimpanzees. She said it was clear the skin disease was being transmitted between separate chimpanzee communities. In the Ivory Coast, chimpanzees are more distant from human settlements, which led researchers to believe it could have been picked up from other animal species, Professor Fabian Leendertz from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology explained. He says it may have come from sources like ticks or bacteria living in water. At the moment, the disease does not appear to put whole groups at risk but it is another risk to chimps. Western chimpanzees are critically endangered, so even the loss of a few individuals could be significant, lead author Dr. Kimberly Hawking said. Scientists say the disease is probably circulating in more wild animals. Humans are considered to be the main host to flesh-eating bacteria which scientists think may be spilling over onto other mammals. The disease can be treated in humans with antibiotics and was once thought to have been wiped out. But in the last two decades, the debilitating illness has been found in red squirrels in the UK and armadillos in the Americas. If left unchecked, it can lead to deformities and blindness. Hawking said, this is the first confirmation of leprosy in non-human animals in Africa. It's amazing that it also happens to be in our closest living relative, the chimpanzee, especially considering how well studied chimpanzees are in the wild. Researchers first noticed possible symptoms in a population of chimpanzees in Guinea-Bissau. The symptoms appeared to be strikingly similar to those suffered by humans with advanced leprosy, including lesions and claw hand, their report read. Hawking said the disease turned up on at least four chimpanzees in three different communities in the areas they studied. So far, none have been treated. Leprosy is very easy to treat in humans, but administering antibiotics to wild unhabituated chimpanzees would be a real challenge, Hawking's told Mail Online. 